Hey, this is Robert Niney, your Spray Foam Advisor. I want to tell you about an experience I had recently. I was at home and uh, had a knock on the door, so I hopped up and went to go check on the door. And middle of the day, middle of the afternoon, I was working on my computer. And when I got to the door, um, there was uh, you know an older gentleman, probably in his uh, mid fifties, uh, standing at the door. And he uh, started by you know explaining to me that he was going from house to house, building a a new uh, business in this new local area. He had just gotten to the area and he was uh, in the house cleaning business and he power washed the outside of buildings for commercial facilities and for residential houses. And he noticed that we had some mold and some mildew and some stains that uh, we had just moved into this house. And so we were planning on getting to that, but it just wasn't at the top of our priority list right now. And he was explaining how he was trying to build a business and build a foundation in this local area. And he, his business really uh, depended on word of mouth advertising and us telling people that we knew and providing good referrals. And so he wanted to offer us a discount to clean the outside of our house. And he was uh, uh, really doing a great job in his sales pitch and, and really um, passionate about what he was doing and the techniques that he used and how he was gonna do it. And um, he really brought a lot of knowledge um, to the table that I hadn't really ever thought about before and um, made me believe in him. And it was very impressive that he was out cold calling on, a, on an afternoon and uh, not just knocking on doors and offering services. And so we, I, I offered, you know, I, I agreed to his terms. He gave us a discounted price because he wanted a referral at the end of the job. And, uh, and he started the work and he started the work and um, and actually knocked on the door partway through the work and you know asked me to come outside and he showed me the before and after of what it looks like you know the quality of work that he was providing he did a great job of uh, building that rapport and building that uh, quality service and giving me a great customer experience in the beginning and then uh, he let me know that uh, he wasn't going to be able to finish the job that day because he ran out of materials. He ran out of the cleaning agent he was using and he was going to have to come back the next day. No problem. He could come back the next day. And then he delayed. And then he put me off again. And then he disappeared. And then he called me back and rescheduled. And then he delayed completion. And this went on for two months where he would schedule and then delay the completion and schedule and delay the completion. And then finally he called me and asked me for more money to complete the job that he was already supposed to complete. And then when I told him, no, I wasn't going to give him any more money, he threatened the job completely and threatened to not complete the job at all. And it just deteriorated downhill from there. And I um, kindly asked him to uh, stop calling to stop coming out to stop coming over that we didn't want the services anymore and we would finish the job uh, as it was and this story was uh, it's been a couple months actually um, that this has been going on and it really brought up a couple of points um, that you should learn from and some things that you should do and some things that you shouldn't do first and foremost he was cold calling he found this prospect this new customer by knocking on a random door and by being knowledgeable and effectively communicating the value that he was going to be able to bring. That is a bonus. That's something you have to learn from and you have to apply to your own business. He also provided excellent service, excellent work, and I really loved the fact that he knocked on the door and brought me outside in the middle of the process and showed me the results, right? This excellent work process and by showing the customer the results gave me an amazing customer experience in the very beginning but some of the things that you have to learn from and you don't want to repeat frankly the guy looked completely unprofessional he was wearing ratty clothes probably just came from another job but when you're going to do sales calls be dressed for the purpose of doing sales calls don't show up as the technician, as the guy that just finished another job, that just crawled out of a crawl space or just crawled out of an attic and try to sell a job. Look the part, dress the part, be professional so people will take you seriously. I should have learned from that, but I didn't. Um, 
Also, the continuous delayed completion. There were excuses after excuses after excuses, and he continually delayed the job over and over and over again. Not acceptable, made for a very, very bad customer experience in the end. And then finally, the straw that broke the camel's back is that he called and asked for more money. And really, it's almost even worse than that. I want to say he asked for more money, but what he actually did is he called me a customer and he asked me for a loan. He asked me for a little bit of money and he would give me back more money in a couple of days. An absolutely absurd request. I was not his friend. I am not his friend. We do not have beers together. I do not know him from Adam other than he's done work around my house on this project. But he called me and asked me for a loan. Um, absolutely unprofessional. When I told him no, he got hostile. He threatened, uh, uh, you know, threatened the job completely. And then I said, that's fine. I don't want you on the property. Don't come back. And I actually, you know, fired him basically. So those are my tips. Um, bonus things, you know, cold call, anything you can do to find customers, very important. Um, excellent work. Do excellent work, provide excellent services, and then show the customers along the way. Um, Look the part, right? He showed up very unprofessionally. I should have learned from that, but I didn't. Look the part. Dress professionally for whatever you're trying to provide and look the part. Um, complete the jobs that you say you're going to complete them in a timely manner. Time is a component of providing a good customer experience. That's part of what you're trying to do. So his delayed completion of my project was very aggravating and a bad customer experience. And then finally, um, it should go without saying, but you can't treat customers like your friends. You want to befriend them, but you cannot act as if they are your friends. You can't call them up and ask them for a loan, ask them for money. That is not the purpose of your customers. This has been Robert Niney. That's your tip uh, from Spray Foam Advisor. Thanks for checking us out. Catch us on some more videos. I love questions. Anyone out there, feel free to shoot in a question. I'll give you a, uh, an email address right here for any questions you have. Send them to questions at sprayfoamadvisor.com. Sprayfoamadvisor singular.com. So questions at sprayfoamadvisor.com. Go ahead and send those questions in. I'll get to as many of them as I can and I'll, I'll try to incorporate a select few into some of my uh, weekly videos. And of course, uh, if you like this uh, video, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the blog if you haven't already done that. Find us on YouTube and uh, like us. Uh, like and follow us there and uh, check us out on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, find us on all of your favorite social media sites and uh, you can keep up with the words of wisdom coming out of Spray Foam Advisor. Thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate it. We'll catch you on some more videos. Take care.